Hey, hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This week's card reading covers July 29th to August 4th of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you. There are free readings every week. Just go ahead and press that notification bell and comment and you're automatically entered to win a free reading. I have shuffled, meditated over, and blessed this reading just for you, Taurus. The first card, it's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere of that week. It's the background of the question. The Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles bringing in Earth energy. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. His attitude suggests he desires money. He's goal-oriented and bringing good news. Could be about worldly ambition or a message about them. This could be a possible student. They have respect for learning and fascination. They're introspective and they're being absorbed in something. He moves slowly. This is a slow energy. This person is patient and they're curious and they're eager to learn. There's some kind of interest. It could be a child or a new job or a new investment. But there is some kind of unexpected starting point here and it has to do with money. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. It's what's occurring now. The Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, Taurus. That's a happy memory card. That's looking back and being nostalgic. You may be receiving a gift. It's going to be a surprise. But be open for nurturing. And there may be an emotional conversation connected to your past that's going to shed light on your future. It would be wise to treat new people that come in with kindness and affection. There may be thoughts of a past love that haunt the questioner, and you may be fondly reminiscing. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, Taurus. There's a new dawn on the horizon. It's the end of backstabbing gossip. It's the end of a period of trials and hardships. So you can stop worrying. You need to make a clean break from the past. It's the pain of hitting rock bottom. That's what you felt like. But a new cycle's going to begin. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. And it's going to be the end of a painful separation or some kind of health Ill or illness. It's going to be a closure to that. Your fourth card, it's the future outcome. It's the results or the advice and how to respond. The four of wands. The four of wands is bringing in some happy, joyous celebration. It's good times. It could be a coming marriage or a romance. It stands for your home and harvest. It's taking time to relax and pause. It's extremely positive. You'll be enjoying life and reaping rewards. And it's an indication that something new is soon coming. It's going to be a happy time. It's the completion of a stage. You got a little bit more to do on this work, but it's just the completion of like the first stage of it. And there may be the purchase of a new home. Um, you could be celebrating a birthday party or an anniversary. But it's a reminder to be grateful because it's a very happy time. Your bottom of the deck card, it's what's unseen or underlying the issue. And it has to do with the King of Cups or some water energy coming in. This King of Cups, he could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. 
this person, he holds in complex emotions and he's utterly trustworthy. He's relaxed and non-threatening. He's reliable and he has a positive outlook. There may be some interest in the arts. This person is a creative type and this situation is favorable, especially if it's an artistic endeavor. And if this is a person, he comes through when you really need him. He'll be composed and wise. He's calm. He could be a healer or a counselor. He keeps good confidences and he's a very good listener. Thank you so much, Taurus. Thank you for your wonderful comments and validations and subscribes. I'm extremely grateful. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light. Thank you.